It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. So it's away we go then. Kleisson. Aimed in towards the centre. Danger averted for now. Moves it over to the other flank. Here comes another grab to meet it! Just couldn't turn it in. Oh, that's a real disappointment as well. After he worked so hard to just get into position and get on the end of that in the first place, a lot of effort for very little reward. Traps on Spore are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it. And yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Keeps everyone guessing. Kleisson. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. And he's there to hoof it away. It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Trezeguet really showed good strength there. Held his man off, didn't let himself get bullied, and got his effort away. Maintained control. A 1-0 lead established. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Kleisson. Gorgeous control there. Played into the middle. Has a pop! Sticks it away! Well, that's something that will make the manager proud because they dug in deep then and they've got their leveller. He was so alert to the possibilities there. Great stuff. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. That has certain... And it's half-time here. 
Well, it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Yeah, I think they'll be happy with that scoreline. I just hope... Oh, that is lovely footwork. Crosses into the box. Chance! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Has a hit! Goal! FC Copenhagen! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Copenhagen get themselves into the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Balls out on the left now. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Plays it out to the flank. He goes long. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. That's been drilled forward. Time added on will be two minutes. Copenhagen just have to... And there goes the final whistle. Well, somehow they turned it round. Every ounce of energy, emotional, physical, mental, is spent. That is...